Welcome back to Introducing Grunt, the JavaScript Task Runner. Last section, we talked about file manipulation, and this section will be a hefty one in which we talk about a number of different ways we can use Grunt to test our code. We'll start off light with how to use JSLint with Grunt to test our syntax, and then we'll make sure we're testing our own Grunt file, then we'll add a custom test task. After we've installed grunt-contrib-jslint, we'll leave the options out for now and just run it against our JS folder here. We'll add a new test task at the bottom here for grunt. Register task test with JSLint. Now we'll go to our terminal and we'll run grunt test and we'll say no problems. Now back in my editor, I'm going to introduce a random period and hit save. I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to run grunt test again. Error! Oh no! Back to our editor, we'll remove that period, hit save, go back and test that again, and everything should be fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our grunt file to this. That way we can know if we have any errors in that. We'll hit save, we'll go over here and we'll run it, and we'll see all sorts of errors. Notice all these at columns? That simply means that my formatting is different than what JSLint is asking for. We'll make a quick change here to fix that. Up here at the top, I'll add a couple comments here. Global require, this makes require already available. White space, this just makes it so it ignores my white space differences because I happen to like two spaces, not four. Devel means I can use console without any errors. And I can use unused parameters in my functions. That just means if I'm using a function that's already defined and I'm not going to use all the parameters, it won't throw an error for that. Make sure you look at the documentation for JSLint to make sure you know all of the options available to you. Now we'll go back over to our console. We'll run this again. All good, including my grunt file. Now we'll come back to our editor. We'll go down to our watch statement. And we'll make sure that here we add our JS. So we'll add a JS node there. Make sure we get a comma there. Files. We're going to look for anything in that JS folder. And we'll add our grunt file. Then we're going to tell it what tasks to run. Pretty simple. We're going to run JSLint. All right, we'll give that a save. Go back to our terminal. We'll do grunt watch. Now we'll test it by making a small change here. Let's introduce an error. Add a random letter. Oh no, there's our error right there. So now we can constantly keep this up to date. This video taught us how to test syntax errors using JSLint and how to check multiple files and paths. The next video will go over unit testing with QUnit.